Good day. My name is Andriy Mironchenko. Welcome to my talk on Lepanov functions for ISS of infinite dimensional systems with integrable inputs. I start with the concept of a control system. The triple sigma consisting of the state space X, input space U, and the solution map phi is called a control system if for any initial condition, any input, the solution exists globally and is continuous and satisfies the co-cycle property. We require also several further axioms from the solution map, but I don't want to state them all because they are almost always satisfied. I just tell that ODEs, many classes of PDEs, as well as broad classes of boundary control systems and time delay systems are all within this general framework. To define the main stability notions, we need the following classes of comparison functions. We say that gamma is in the class of k-infinity if it is zero at zero and increasing to infinity. A function of two arguments is called KL function if it is zero and zero and increasing in the first argument and decreases to zero in the second one. Now we can introduce the main stability concept for this talk which is input state stability, or shortly ISS. The system is called ISS if the norm of the trajectory can be upper bounded by a sum of two functions, class KL function beta, describing the transient behavior, and function gamma, describing the influence of external inputs. In order to understand the essence of the ISS property, consider first the case when U is identically zero then this term vanishes and the trajectory of the system is upper bounded by the function beta, which tends to zero as time goes to infinity. This means that every ISS system is uniformly globally asymptotically stable if the input is not applied. If U is non-zero, then there is no guarantee that the solution will converge to zero. However, it will converge to the ball with the radius gamma of norm of u, which means that every ISS system has some sort of input to output stability property. This feature that ISS unifies the internal and external stability has made ISS one of the leading frameworks for robust control and observation of nonlinear systems. It is also a basis for analysis and control of large scale networks. Nowadays, the ISS theory for ODE and time delay systems is already a major theory with lots of applications. In this theory, the usual choice of the input space is L infinity space. Very recently, the ISS theory has been started its development for infinite dimensional systems. For this kind of systems, both L infinity space as well as LP input spaces are of interest. For a survey of a broad literature on ISS, we refer to these two papers. The first of them describes the state of the art in the ISS theory of ODE systems, and the second one describes the recent developments in the ISS theory for infinite dimensional systems. Having introduced the ISS concept, we need powerful tools how we can verify input or state stability of the system. We will say that a continuous function V is a non-coercive ISS Lepanov function if it is positive definite and has a uniform upper bound in terms of k-infinity functions. It is also required to satisfy the following dissipation inequality, where V dot is the derivative of a Lepanov function V with respect to trajectory starting in X and subject to an input U. If U is identically zero, then this term vanishes and the Lepanov function decays to zero as time goes to infinity. If U is non-zero, then V decays as long as the input X has a norm which is large enough with respect to the magnitude of the input U. We say that V is a coercive ISS Lepanov function if in addition, it has a uniform bound from below.
of this form. Currently, the Lepanov theory for input to state stability property is very well developed. There is a number of results on cursive ISS Lepanov functions as well as applications of this theory to particular infinite dimensional systems. In this paper, also the study of non cursive ISS Lepanov functions has been initiated. Why do we study non cursive ISS Lepanov functions? This is due to the fact that classical constructions of Lepanov functions often lead to non cursive ones. For example, if we solve the operator Lepanov equation, then in general we obtain only non cursive ISS Lepanov functions. Even more importantly, currently we have several important classes of PDEs with boundary controls. For example, a linear heat equation with Dirichlet inputs, for which only non-coercive ISS Lepanov functions are known, and we even don't know whether coercive ISS Lepanov functions exist at all. Our definition of an ISS Lepanov function is very general and formally applies to any input space U. If U is L infinity space or space of piecewise continuous functions, or any other space which is based on supremum or essential supremum norm, then this definition is very natural and reasonable. However, what about LP space for finite P? To see what happens, let us define the truncation of the input signal U at time tau, which is denoted by U tau. It is defined as the original signal U when time is between zero and tau, and it is zero for all future times. Now, if the input space is any LP space with P from one to infinity, including infinity, then a continuance function is a non-cursive ISS Lepanov function if and only if it satisfies these two properties. They are basically the same as what we had in the definition, but now, instead of the norm of the input, we have here infimum of the norms of the truncations of the input. Now see what happens. For any integrable input U from the LP space, so P is finite, it is important, this infimum is equal to zero. And thus, by previous lemma, every ISS Lepanov function has to satisfy such a dissipative inequality. The Lepanov function has to decay for any input u, and it decays to zero. So this is a very strong property. It is not what we expect from the ISS Lepanov function. Therefore, we need to search for another definition of an ISS Lepanov function, which will be appropriate for the spaces of integrable inputs. Now, we introduce a new definition of an LP ISS Lepanov function. We say that a continuance function is a non coercive LP ISS Lepanov function if it satisfies these two properties. So now we require the dissipative estimate with this term instead of the gamma of norm of U. It is very important that we do not have here the norm of the whole input, but just the norm of the input at time zero. Clearly, this term cannot be even defined if we have arbitrary integrable function u. However, it is well defined for continuance functions. And then, having such a definition and such a dissipation inequality for continuance function, we still are able to prove some results for merely integrable inputs due to the fact that continuance functions are dense in LP for P less than infinity. If V has also the uniform lower bound, we again call the Lepanov function a coercive LP ISS Lepanov function. Now we proceed to our first main result, which is direct coercive LP ISS Lepanov theorem. Assume that our input space is an LP space where P is finite. Assume that 
we have a forward complete well-defined control system which has flow which is continuous with respect to inputs. If V is an LPISS Lepano function for sigma, then this system is LQ ESS for all Q greater or equal than P. Moreover, we can find ISS Lepano functions for the ISS property for this case. So not only for LP ISS Lepano function we have, but we can generate LS Lepano function for each S greater or equal than P. To formulate the direct non-coercive LP ISS Lepano theorems, we need several more concepts. We say that zero is an equilibrium point of undisturbed systems. If the system starting at zero stays at zero, if the zero input was applied. We say that sigma has continuity at equilibrium point property. If zero is an equilibrium and the flow map is continuous with respect to the state and input at this equilibrium. Also, we say that sigma has bounded reachability sets property. If the finite time reachability sets of a control system for trajectories which emanate from the ball with the radius C and subject to inputs which have the magnitude at most C, if all such finite time reachability sets are bounded. We note that this property is stronger than just forward completeness, and there are infinite dimensional forward complete systems which do not have this property. Now we can formulate the direct non coercive LP ISS Lepanov theorem. Let the input space be LP space where P is finite. Assume that we have a well posed forward complete control system and assume that for some Q which is greater or equal than P, the system has bound and reachability sets and continuity at equilibrium properties with respect to the space LQ. Assume also that phi is continuous with respect to inputs in the norm of U. Then, if there is a non-coercive LPISS Lepano function for the system sigma, then the system is LRISS for all R greater or equal than Q. The proof of this result relies deeply on characterizations of ISS for infinite dimensional systems, which have been obtained recently in these two papers. And this proof is very different from the proof of the coercive LPISS Lepanov theory. Now I would like to apply our machinery to the benchmark problem. Heat equation with the Dirichlet boundary input. It is known that this system is ISS for the state space L2 and input space L infinity. This has been shown by admissibility approach, spectral analysis, monotonicity methods. However, Till now, we even don't know whether coercive ISS Lepanov functions for this system exist. Today, I would like to show you that such a weighted L2 norm is a non coercive ISS Lepanov function for this system, for the state space L2 and input space L2. So, what is the main complexity of this system? It is in this directly input, which defines the solution of the system at one of the boundaries of the spatial domain. In order to compensate the influence of U, we introduce this weight coefficient here, which is zero precisely at this end where U is applied. This makes it possible to verify nice properties for the function V. Namely, it is non-coercive, so it is positive definite and can be upper bounded by L2 norm squared. V is continuous and at the same time for smooth enough inputs U we obtain such a dissipation inequality. Using the weighted point Poincaré inequality we proceed to such an estimate which is precisely this and we see that it is indeed a non-coercive L2 ISS Lepanov function. Now let us collect what we know about this system. 
So this function v is a non-coercive to ISS Lepinov function. At the same time, no coercive ISS Lepinov functions are known. And moreover, by using admissibility analysis, one can show that this system is not L2 ISS. This is due to the fact that these two properties are not valid for Q equal to. They are valid only for Q, which is somehow larger than 2. And only for S, which are greater or equal than this Q, we get LS ISS property. Nevertheless, existence of an uncursive L2ISS Lepinov function indicates that some stability properties are retained also for L2 norm, provided the input is smooth enough. Now we proceed to conclusions. We have discussed coercive LPISS Lepinov theorems as well as the non coercive LPISS Lepinov theorems, which are helpful if the coercive Lepinov functions can be constructed or possibly don't exist at all. We have made a comparison of our definition of L2 ISS Lepinov function with a classical definition for L infinity ISS functions. Also, we have applied our non coercive L2 ISS Lepinov theorems for heat equation with Dirichlet boundary inputs. The main results are presented at this paper on this IFAC World Congress, but also we exploit some of the results shown here in this paper. Thank you for your attention and your questions are warmly welcome.